It is the Riot Podcast. Good Thursday, November 3rd to you. We had a, a grand old time today, didn't Another we? Another good a show. Fun show. Now, I know we're looking forward to tomorrow, uh, but we, you know, enjoyed the moment for today yeah. uh, for your Thursday edition. We sure did. So today during the show, we talked a little bit of tap water, right? Uh. So I didn't listen to that whatsoever, but... <laughs> I do have a question for you guys, because right, you may ahead. have already answered. <laughs> uh, you guys have much of uh, tap water drinkers. Well, okay. Are you saying, like, out of the tap or, like, filtered water? Yeah. In the, no, okay. uh, in the of- context of the story, it, we're talking, uh, like, tap water versus, I guess, getting it out of a bottle. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. bottled yeah. water. Yeah, like getting it out of the sink. Then I guess... No, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, sink, are you talking, like, filtered sink water or just, no, just out of just, any mm-hmm. sink? Just a regular sink. Okay, no, because like... <laughs> like the bathroom sink at your local Olive Garden. I could never drink out of a bathroom sink. You don't think so? Nope, I can't. I don't think. I know so. I do not drink out of a sink. I could. It, w- it wouldn't bother me, but at home, I get it out of the fridge. Yeah. See, I have a, I have a Brita now, like a little filter, whatever, yeah. little thing. And so I use that now because it does taste better. But growing up as a kid, we used the sink rather than getting it out of mm. the fridge. Or a now, bottle. Or a bottle. We never had bottles. You grew up... In kind of in the country, right? Did you have well water? In the country. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Did you have well water? Yeah. See, well water tastes better. Yeah, I think well water tastes great. Yeah, well Isn't water it tastes amazing. Isn't it because it's got so many minerals in it yeah. and stuff? Yeah. All the good stuff uh-huh. you need is a growing country yeah. boy. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the well, well water's amazing. The, out of the sink, it tastes fantastic. Yeah. And it was so nice. It came out so fast. It came out so slow out of the fridge. <laughs> it didn't even <laughs> oh, taste yeah. as good. Out of the sink, it tastes so much better. But even now, like, I don't live in the country anymore, and I, yeah. I have city water now, but it still tastes better. Uh, well, I prefer Volcano Water. It's this company, and I buy the bottles. Uh-huh. But I guess uh, refrigerated water. Volcano right after. water? Yes, from volcano water. I've never even heard of that. Oh, it's delicious. Well, it's crisper, you know, especially mm, when it's super cold. Mm-hmm, I like crisp water. Mm. <laughs> we also talked about National Sandwich Day. We didn't talk about it. We yelled about we it. We did. There were, Hudson was upset. <laughs> yeah, upset. I was aggrieved by you guys. I hate... You know, it's so one offended. thing when sometimes I'll, uh, you know, maybe I'll play up, uh, you know, my opinion, even though I don't believe it that that much... For the show, and then, I, but in, deep down, I know maybe I'm I'm wrong or I'm exaggerating. But in this case, you guys, you were doing that, right? No, I no, believe I it. believe what I was saying. I believe what we were saying. I think I've won you over, though. No, I said time. I said that by definition, you're correct. In other words, I'm correct. That's but, all I'm worried about. Am but I like, correct? in your typical day to day life, like there's a lot of things that by by definition that it may be one thing, but realistically, in everyone's day to day life, it's not actually that way. <laughs> And I, I know I just, uh, I, but th- I care about the definition. Well, we talk yeah. about for National Sandwich Day, uh, it just gravitates toward what actually is a sandwich. Mm-hmm. And you'll see some deals that they're having today. And of course, what everybody's favorite is in the midst of all and the yelling. I think Isaiah's favorite sandwich was cherry fluff sandwich. <laughs> hey, the cherry <laughs> fluff. I will say on that, it was hilarious. My my brother texted me yesterday when he, he listened to the podcast yeah. and he heard the intro and he was like, uh, he was like, what's your favorite side? It must be something weird. I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. He's like, what is it? The multi-layered jello? <laughs> and I was like, no. no, that's not my favorite, but that does come up in the conversation. <laughs> I heard so much about your cherry fluff yesterday, but it was all people going, they had no idea what it yeah, is. Nobody knew what it was. It is just not something that's uh, widely known, but um, yeah, get ready for Dang. sandwich talk then. Isaiah, yeah. two days in a row taking massive L's in the, you know, with the texters. What do you mean? Everybody was agreeing with no, me. They no, they were. The day they were. Two days in a row you've been clearly in the wrong. Today was pretty, I, I think today was, it was a little bit back and forth. I think that they it swayed more your way, but there was a lot of people that, that disagreed. Well, why don't we plan way. for tomorrow? Um, enjoy the podcast today. Uh-huh. But tomorrow we've got our August Burns Red hot sauce food fight. Yeah. And then maybe, Isaiah, you come up with a topic tomorrow yeah. that you're totally winning on. Yeah, maybe like hot, yeah. Is hot sauce is syrup, you know, something oh. like that. There we go. Is it syrup? <laughs> so or is syrup a hot sauce? And we can include that in tomorrow's podcast. That's a good question. It's a good you you really got me thinking already. Mm. I know. That's how yeah. it works. I see the wheels turning. Uh-huh. Well, enjoy the podcast today. Of course, say hello at 877-2-RADIO-U. Text your name and that you're listening through the podcast. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. See you guys. Don't say we didn't warn you. This is the worst of the riot.
I Did know. Did you forget something? I know. Did you forget something today? I told Hudson, I think I forgot to put deodorant on. And what makes you think that? It just feels weird. Do you ever just like have your armpits feel like it's My not... armpits always feel weird. Well, I mean, I'm just second guessing myself. Probably because I don't <laughs> shave them. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> so I just feel like I have forgotten something. Well, can't, can't you find out pretty quickly, don't you think? Um, You mean like <laughs> touch my armpits? <laughs> well, I guess you could stick your fingers in there like Molly yeah. Shannon and the superstar. But you could just, I like for me, occasionally, occasionally, I feel like I have this situation a couple times a week where I think to myself, did I remember to put deodorant on? It's usually while I'm like driving to work or before anybody gets here. And so I can just give myself the smell and not that it's going to smell bad if I forgot. It won't smell but like it won't the smell deodorant. deodoranty. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I my deodorant usually is unscented. Oh, so like, okay. I don't think it puts off much of a smell anyways. Uh-huh. So I just set a reminder for after the show mm-hmm. when I'm home. I'm going to either reapply uh-huh. or apply I mean, for the very first time. Apply a second coat if it is a second coat. But. I'm just disappointed because, you know, normally in the morning, if you're like forgetting something, yeah. you're like, well, maybe you forgot se- your snack or something uh-huh. or your water bottle. But I feel like if I'm missing deodorant, eh, we're, we need to pay more attention. Yeah. Well, did something throw off your routine? No. No. Nothing Everything just went the same way it does every day. Yeah. But you forgot your deodorant it just feels weird yeah it's fine it's not setting a good tone for the day is it no one come in because i'm not waving to you (laughs) (laughs) we're we're keeping our arms down do you want me to let you know if i start to notice that things are amiss i don't think we don't do enough during the job i should not smell you shouldn't just for the show we don't really have a test because you've never forgotten your deodorant before so today maybe i have We'll maybe, really find out. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe just something's wrong. Well, okay, so as a friend, yeah, should I let you know? If no, it, just let me. Should I? Me and Isaiah can, I, you know, we'll just do a half hour or whatever if you need to run home. <laughs> you know? I don't want to tell Michael that's the reason. That's our boss. I don't want yeah, to tell him that. That would be, uh, that like would be a, <laughs> a more embarrassing conversation to have than just smelling bad. I feel like he'll be disappointed in my choice to go do that, uh-huh. though then I might be more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, I think at first I also like had a deodorant stick upstairs. Oh, yeah. I thought there was one because there's toothbrushes and... You know, stuff yeah, in case. Yeah, from previous employees. Just things up there. Uh, but I don't know if there's deodorant. And if so, I don't know if it's actually mine. Yeah. And you, do you want to use, even if it's somebody else's and they don't work here anymore and it's been no. sitting there for a long time, you still don't want to use I it, I do, do not want to use that. That's, uh, so, yeah, that's a tough one. So welcome to the show. <laughs> We're not moving our arms. Well, good luck. Good <laughs> luck. Yeah, Just it's a tough try day. try to stay very still. Uh, <laughs> It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Sometimes I hate doing this show. <laughs> to learn about this stuff? <laughs> well, that's, yeah, kind of, not even that. I just hate burdening people with this information. But then again, we got to fill a show, and it's something interesting to talk about. Uh, Nikki actually pointed this out to me, that uh, the average cup of water, if you were to drink a, a, a glass of water, right? You're ready. Has been consumed by... At least 10 people before you. Dun, it's, dun, gone, dun. it's filtered <laughs> through 10 different people. It's gone in their mouths and out, out their of their bodies. bodies. And then and then into that next person 10 times over before it finally reaches you so and your mouth. It says, it, you know, it goes to the, the special plant where it's <laughs> purified and magic happens. Uh-huh. And then it returns to your home and the water cycle goes on and on and on. Yeah. Now, I don't. Now, they say um, that that's the average, right? Yeah, I think so. So that means sometimes you're drinking water that's been, you know, in and out of uh, way more people. And again, they way call this more the people. urban water cycle. So I don't know if, if you're in certain areas, maybe you're getting like stream water that's purified and uh-huh. then it goes right back out to the stream. Yeah. I'm not sure, but for most, they say most houses, your water that you're getting has already gone through 10 people before you. Yeah. yeah. And then they say that's the conservative estimate. Now, they don't say, right? Over how long a period of time? For because the 10 wa- people? Because, yeah, because water is constantly, the whole idea of this is water is constantly being recycled, whether it's 
uh, through your like water purification plant in town or whatever it is, or whether it's, you know, naturally as water enters the environment through rain or whatever, then uh, gets drank and, and, you know, goes out and then goes evaporates and goes back into the clouds and then rains again. It's always cycling through. Sure. So that means like, I've, I've thought about this before. That, like, the water on Earth has been around forever, basically. Yeah. Like, it's never changed. Sure. There's always the same amount of water, basically. It's a deep thought. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, and it's kind of like, I, I don't know. So, is it 10 people, like, in the last year? Or is it 10 people over the course of a 1,000 years? I'm Every 1,000 sure. years, the water you drink you can, went through somebody else. You're like, how do you make it worse? Well, it could be ancient old water. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It could have been the water you drank could have been beat out by a dead guy who's well, been dead for years. Well, thank you for making years. it worse. Uh-huh. I thought it was more recent. Yeah. Like, well, does that make it better? I if it's don't somebody know. who's living? If it's like here in the last 10 days, here's uh-huh. your 10 people Oh, that makes it worse. It makes it way worse. The, the don't, does. No, I want to think that it was, uh, it's ancient water that was in somebody else's body a thousand years ago, and it's just been trickling through a stream all this time well, until it reaches you. I don't want to be one of those wasteful people, but, um, and I'm sure the water, like bottled water is probably no better no it's it's because it it's still the same better. right it's it's just now if you're drinking it straight out of the sink uh like tap water uh or getting it out of your fridge that's the same thing it just goes through one more extra uh, filter uh, i have a bigger filter it's the same thing I don't think it is. it's still the same <laughs> and uh so that that makes you feel really bad but then if you're drinking it like if it's a spring water if you're getting poland springs or whatever that's still it's raining down from the clouds, right? And some, I don't know. I don't know how water comes out of springs. I don't know how springs work. That's not covered in this article. It's so. not. But that's probably some other kind of urine. Well, just be grossed out as it that's, was hard enough to drink water I as guess, it was. Maybe when you think about it, water is the world's urine. It's, it's urine of the earth. Hey, I should start drinking my water. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right Are you over feeling there. a little thirsty? I, I guess I am. Yeah. Do you want to take a sip first? Well... <laughs> I've got coffee over here. Okay. Does that make it better I don't or know. worse? Because it's still mostly water. <laughs> well, I just thought we should which all means just it's share mostly anyways. urine. This is Radio U's worst of the riot. Not quite a Walmart, not quite a dollar store. It's Dollar General. Those are huge, though. They're they're not big enough. Yeah, but I guess like for Dollar General, someone once said they're the Walmarts of even smaller towns. Uh-huh. So they're big. I mean, they, it seems like they make bigger business. I mean, they're business. all over the place. I just mean when you go to one, it's never big enough. Oh, really? It's always <laughs> crammed. There's always, I mean, maybe it just seems smaller because there's always stuff on the floor. Yeah. Toilet paper and rakes and whatever. But well, that's uh, how they save money. They're not putting this stuff away. <laughs> yeah, about just letting, <laughs> just, you know, find it wherever you find it. It's like all the making you take care of your cart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh Dollar General though, they're in some trouble. They're in some hot water in the state of Ohio because uh Ohio's attorney general, the state is actually suing Dollar General. They're filing a lawsuit accusing Dollar General of using deceptive pricing practices. Okay. They've, uh, the Ohio Attorney General's office has documented uh, 12 different complaints between March of last year and August of this year for deceptive pricing at uh, several different counties throughout the state. Uh, Basically what they're finding is you go to Dollar General, you might see the price of, for example, a big click shaver uh, that's supposed to be six dollars. It's labeled as it's six dollars. Yeah. But then when you get to the register and you pay, they charge you six fifty. Oh, yeah. That sort of. And okay. it could be even worse. What if it's a Comfort Bay shower hook? They're supposed to be two dollars. Instead, it's coming up five. And who notices when you're going to check out? Like um, you don't remember what it was. Yeah, you're you're just. I mean, they go well, through. Well, some fast. people did. I, apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently at least twelve people. I guess they say that they have up to a two percent error rate on overcharges. Yeah, which um, that's what, that's what's acceptable. That means well, like it can be two percent off of the price it actually says. That's normal. Right. That normally what happens. But they say twenty dollar general stores in a certain area had an error rate that was about sixteen point. 
0.7% to 88.2%. Yeah. Based on testing. So they you had a really high chance of getting overcharged on a lot of items. Yeah. Now, th- I, you think this would all be fine if they were pricing the stuff too high and then you got to the register, it was cheaper, right? Yeah, but I mean, nobody would be complaining about that. You were actually seeing normal prices uh, attached to the item and then again, overcharged when you yeah. were checking out. I mean, you look at those shower hooks. They're over twice the price that's actually listed at the store. So that's uh, that can't be. That's no way. I mean, one, that's deceptive. But two, that's just no way to run a business. You're well, just going to upset your customers. Also, Dollar General, it looks like some of your stuff's a little bit more expensive than it. Oh, I think it should be. Yeah. <laughs> well, you clearly haven't been to a Dollar General in a while. Is it more expensive just than Just because it has the name Dollar in it doesn't mean that it's cheap. But it, it's totally true what you're saying. Most Dollar Generals, or, or many anyways, are in areas where you don't have a, a great other option close by. And so what are you what are you going to do? They can charge almost whatever they want. Milk, $8. Sure, what are you going to do? Drive 25 minutes to the next town? Maybe some people would, but most won't. So uh, that, they can do what they want. So Dollar General, this is for Ohio, but they did pay $1.75 million in a settlement in Vermont in 2019 mm-hmm. with a similar lawsuit that was in that state. So, uh, yeah, they're kind of known for this thing. Well, you know, $1.75 million, that's only... A few overpriced shower hooks to Dollar General, you know, <laughs> and some, uh, I guess, some flip flops, uh-huh. <laughs> which they also overcharged for. Yeah, which are for some reason the same aisle as dog food. That's weird. That's Dollar General for you, All Nikki. Right. You, why are you not going in Dollar General? I guess you don't go in any store, do you? I try not to go in. Yeah. Does Dollar General bring it out? No. I like them to overcharge. No. And bring they it. They don't out bring to it me. out. They barely bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com. Get a load of uh, of this story. Get a load of this and see what you what you make of it. I didn't need to say any of that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm really ready. Sometimes now. you just you self ready? edit yourself. Some of those intros you do live are incredible. On the radio. Show. I could just. Uh, <laughs> We could just. Uh, We're ready, Hudson. Yeah. You start whenever you I'm want. Still, I'm still not getting there. You're still going. Would you like to start now? I think you're actually getting farther away yeah. from it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about I just give you the headline? Uh, a USF medical student, uh, medical services accountant, claims nearly half of the stolen $12.8 million that he stole went to his webcam girlfriend so she stole from him uh no <laughs> yes she did uh maybe he might want to put it that way uh so we've got a guy his name is ralph polisi i'm gonna say uh he illegally he was an accountant at uh south florida university i believe he uh admitted that he's charged about 12.8 million dollars wow. of the school's money uh for he says a variety of expenses. Okay, so Including he's admitted his, the that. <laughs> yeah, he's been uh, convicted. He's going through the whole legal process with that. Obviously, a crime. But in an effort, possibly, to not have to pay all of that back, he's saying that about half of that twelve point eight million dollars went to his webcam girlfriend and that so he doesn't lessens? have it anymore sure that could possibly lessen than what he would have to return yeah which does that make sense to you it if all you... feels like a lie anyways but i mean maybe do they know she's real or what would you lie about stealing 12.8 million dollars i wouldn't have stolen i guess if, be, if you had place. stolen more than yeah. you would you'd be like yeah 12.8 uh-huh that's exactly how much i stole i mean it's kind of sad to ask but like can he prove that he's <laughs> Well, she's <laughs> she's not from this town. No. I mean, she she isn't from you around here. You wouldn't know here. her. She's in Canada. Yeah, she lives up in Canada. You don't know who she is. Which wow. also means that it's uh, now been converted to Canadian dollars. So it'd be a whole thing to try to get it back don't from her. Now. Yeah, basically, you should just probably forget about it. So it, um, well, it wasn't just the girlfriend. Apparently, he used this to promote a luxurious lifestyle for his now ex-wife and her family. And um, then he had a special friend uh, uh-huh. that also, so he spent money on a lot of people. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was, uh, he's just giving it away, but that's, so I guess the, the question is if you steal money, but then you don't use it to buy stuff, you just give it away to other people. Well, he bought stuff for other people. 
But he's, I think he's trying it's to make like it. It's not like it's going to a nonprofit. Yeah, it's not yeah. like he's donating it. <laughs> it's still, I think, he, like, it basically, it sounds like he laundered it, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes. I mean, you got $12.8 million. You can't spend that all, all on yourself. Yeah. So what bothers me more is the fact that if you're going to this school and you're like, why is it so expensive? Yeah. <laughs> you know, why, 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 why? It's because your school can't manage its money because no. they were losing out on 12.8 and didn't even notice it. Yeah, for a that while. is uh, that is crazy, right? That uh, in 2014, he started using the corporate credit cards and, and it all spiraled out of control from there. I don't know how long. Does it say how long of a period? Obviously, it started in 2014. But how long did he get away with this? It seems like a long time. I don't know what's worse. If he like was able to get away with it for eight years and just now he got recently caught. Or if he stole uh, $12.8 million all at once and, and they didn't notice that either. Well, they're trying to get some of the money back. And that's why they're, you know, they're not commenting anymore on the pending litigation. But they want to find the money. Man. See, if I was this guy, I'd be like, well, clearly we didn't need it anyway. You guys didn't even catch on for so long. That's right. Clearly we're overcharging it just a wee bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you going to do with $12.8 million if you get it back now? You don't need it, right? You guys don't need this uh-huh. money. My webcam girlfriend uh-huh. needs it. She needs it a lot more than you do. She's trying to put herself through college. Boy, when you hear <laughs> the argument. I know it's weird that I'm, that I'm 60 years old and she's 23. At least that's what she tells me. We've never met or anything like that. But she but needs this her. money. Yeah. But I do. I am in love. With her. I don't know how many times we have to do the webcam girlfriend thing. Like, how many times are we going to send webcam girlfriends money that we've never met? Can we stop doing this, guys? Please. Well, it's nice because you're sending money that technically it's not even yours. So that yeah. is, uh, let's see, he pay. oh, he's already started to pay restitution. So $1.2 million he's been paying. Uh-huh. And he turned over all of his property in the Virgin Islands that he has. Wow. That's actually a good deal. It kind of makes me want to do crime. Well, you don't. If I can steal twelve point eight, and only have to have, pay back a tenth of it. Do you have a company card? No. Okay, that's why. This is exactly why we've <laughs> talked about this. This is why. This is why very few get company cards. <sighs> Hudson, Nikki, the riot on Radio U. Today we've got a reason to celebrate. It's a holiday. What's the holiday? It's National Sandwich Day. Yay! Yeah. Yay. So if you want to, here's the question I want to put out there. I'm thinking, what is the best kind of sandwich? Because there's a lot of options. Oh, yeah. So text in 8772-RADIO-U. Let us know your favorite sandwich. Uh, But in the meantime, I'll let you know because there are a few sandwich day deals uh, for you to ponder. Maybe this will get, you know, start you thinking in your mind of what your favorite sandwich is. So uh, how about this? At Popeye's. Starting today and through November 9th, uh, which is National Fried Chicken Sandwich Day, uh, you can actually, no, I think they made that up, Uh, (laughs) but you can buy a chicken sandwich combo and get one extra chicken sandwich for free if you use the Popeye's app website or uh, for a mobile order. Well, get ready. Oh, the mobile order. That's the worst the part. Apps. But that's the, I mean, what do you want to, you want to go into Popeye's and talk Have to you them? I want to go drive-thru? through, I want to go through the drive through No, you do not. And I want to just I give the code. You have your order ready, yeah. <laughs> I just don't do the whole mobile order thing. That's just not my jazz. It's I, so much easier. Yeah, then you show up and your chicken sandwich is cold as ice, baby. It's as cold that, as when it came no, out. No, because they make a mistake with the with the fast food orders. They don't start they making don't start it, it until, until you the get there and say, I'm here, and then it's like, well, I guess I might as well not have done it in the app except uh that it saves me talking to you in the drive through longer so that's that's my reasoning behind why i think the mobile app is good well, you think it's hear- better and the deals and the deals <laughs> let's hear panera where hudson used to work yeah panera is uh if you're a my panera member you can get one dollar off any sandwich hey. oh. This is why Generous. Popeyes is so much better than one of the many reasons. The food is better and they're giving you more for your buck, for your cluck. Because it's Popeyes. Uh, how about uh, Potbelly? You can order an original or big size sandwich using the promo code BOGO online. Uh, and then you receive a free original size sandwich. Looking at all the sandwich places, though, it reminds me that we don't go to sandwich places a lot. No, so. <laughs> do we? We don't. We're usually going to get a hamburger or some chicken fingers. A hamburger uh, but, is a sandwich. No, I mean, 
I don't count it as that. I don't me think it, it's on a bun. I, to me, it's different. It's still different. a sandwich. It's so not why a sandwich. isn't why isn't Wendy's or McDonald's listed on here? I don't know. Why they're aren't not, any burgers listed on here? They're not doing deals. It's weird. There's no hamburgers on a here. A chicken sandwich is also on a bun. A chicken sandwich is a sandwich. A sandwich, and so is a burger. But a burger. It's not well, then why aren't you calling it? Then why aren't you calling it a sandwich? They do call it a sandwich. A burger sandwich. If you go to Burger King, a hamburger sandwich. They say. A Whopper sandwich. I think for legal reasons. What do you mean for legal reasons? Because it's not enough hamburger in it. It's a Whopper. <laughs> I don't think so. You guys are dead wrong on this. A burger is a sandwich. I don't Why are you calling it. it a burger? Because that's a kind of, it's also a Reuben. A Reuben is a sandwich. It's not a Reuben. It's a type of sandwich. A burger is a type of sandwich. It's two pieces so hot of dogs, bread. A hot dog is a sandwich. Then you are on that side? Uh, don't, don't, don't change it now. Don't change it I now. It's two I, pieces of bread. But it's really one piece of bread. Oh my but gosh! I think it is not. I You're out of your think mind. It falls you can't do this. Under the technical <laughs> definition of sandwich. We gotta well, continue with the deals. I will tell you that it's uh, only sandwich places that are giving you deals today. So there's some Potbelly stuff, Quiznos, uh, Schlotsky, Subway, and Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> 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 They're doing a chili dog thing. Um, so if you look it up, I'm sure you'll see something for sandwich today. I can't believe you guys. Well, I mean, the hot dog is a sandwich debate is one that's raged on, but nobody. Even even debates if a burger is a sandwich. I never count Unless a hamburger as a sandwich. Unless it's you being obtuse. If no. someone's like, you want to get a sandwich? I'd be like, oh, you want me to get like some ham or a turkey or something? Like they would, I would never think like, oh, you're talking about a hamburger. But they call it a Whopper sandwich at Do Burger King. Do not Then why give... doesn't BK have a deal? Don't. That, that you can't. Nobody has a deal. There's hardly any deals. That's the problem. It's, it's National say... Sandwich Day, though. You'd think <laughs> a sandwich restaurant would have them. You know better than to use Burger King as your example on your <laughs> yeah, argument. You don't even like you what are you doing? Burger King, Burger King. <laughs> it's just, you know what it is? It's just shorthand. We're just abbreviating it because we're busy people. We don't have time to say, I'd like a hamburger sandwich. You just say hamburger. You got other stuff going on. No, it's on a bun. It's I don't still... count sandwiches on buns. So are chicken sandwiches. I'm so are roast to... beef Different. sandwiches. Different. Roast beef sandwiches? Yes. Nope. <laughs> What's the best sandwich? And are all the things I'm saying sandwiches? 8772 Radio U. <laughs> the Riot with Hudson and Nikki on Radio U. We text in. Uh, we were talking about favorite sandwiches since it is National Sandwich Day, but I don't even know if we can get to that because uh, <laughs> Isaiah and Nikki are being obtuse over here. Oh, I am agreeing with you, Isaiah. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but the texts are overwhelmingly agreeing with me. Let, quick, 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 go. Lay out your argument for why a hamburger isn't a sandwich. Okay, I'll give it to you right now. Uh-huh. I think by definition, right, Uh huh. a hamburger would be in the category of sandwich. By definition. Okay, yes. But you are incorrect to think if someone said, do you want a sandwich? You would never expect them to hand you a hamburger. But those are different True. things. But like, would th- would you expect them to hand if they were like, "Can I make you a sandwich?" Would you think they're gonna make you Hamburgers a hamburger? Are not I don't know. An There'd be a lot of things they would that never. I would think. You would never think that they would make you a, a hamburger. Well, I don't think that. I'd that like to hear you defend your argument. argument. <laughs> I don't think that wins the argument because I think we're you're talking about our assumptions, but you're not talking about a definition. I said no, by it, definition, it is a sandwich. Okay, like, so I'm right. But no. so it was a hot dog then. A hot, hot dog, dog is, is an open face sandwich. No, but it says online. I looked at the definitions. Uh-huh. Don't worry. It says online that a hot dog, by definition, is a sandwich. Do you accept that? Yes, I do. I, okay. never, I wouldn't argue against that. I think there that. Uh, hot well, you dogs... just did. You said it's an open face. You just <laughs> argued against open... it. No, that's an open face sandwich. Okay, yeah. So a hot dog is a sandwich uh-huh. as much as a hamburger is a sandwich. Okay, yes, they're both sandwiches. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Then, let yeah. me get to the text messages, uh-huh. all right? Uh, Boone stands with Hudson. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Thank says you. Hudson is right. Max says nuts. I might actually agree with Hudson on this sandwich definition. Uh, Carl says a burger equals a burger and a burger sandwich equals fireable offense. Um, <laughs> Rich says every burger is a sandwich, but every sandwich is not a burger. However, every business is cheap and will find a way <laughs> to possibly not give you a deal today Thank on National you, Sandwich Rich. Day. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Kimberly says, best sandwich I've had, a McAllister's King Club. Oh. And burgers are not a sandwich, but a hot dog is a taco. 
I tacos like that. are sandwiches. Tacos are sandwiches? Yes, yes, they are. Nicole says, Aw, God love Hudson, but you're wrong on this one. Dang. Hamburgers are not sandwiches. Nicole, is that you? That's not me. It's you. Isn't it's not it? me. I think it is. It's not. By the way, McAllister's has a deal since we brought that up. They have a buy one, get one free if you're a rewards member. I've not so, been to a McAllister's who was before. That? Uh, there is one by my house. You want to try it? It's actually pretty good. Yeah. That's, don't just take my word for it. Take whoever that was that just texted in. So Austin says, burgers are sandwiches. Manwich is a sandwich. Hot dogs would be more like a slider, and sliders aren't really sandwiches. Sliders are sandwiches. And it's kind of just like how people say pop or soda. Mm. I don't know about that. I think those are two different words for the same thing. I think burgers, hot dogs, they're just sliders. They're all just types of sandwiches. Pop isn't a type of soda. Well, just know this. For National Sandwich Day, there's not one hamburger deal. No, there's not. And I think that's disappointing because we would it prefer is. a I hamburger. Would. I would we prefer don't want a hamburger. So you think the hamburger is the ultimate sandwich, is what you're telling me. I think it's the out-of-reach sandwich, then. You can't get it for a sandwich thing. <laughs> So, that is true. You think so? Yeah, I think that, I mean, today nobody's going to have a deal on a hamburger. Because of National Sandwich Day. Because it's National Sandwich Day, but nobody considers a hamburger. And whenever you go to a sandwich place, they uh-huh. never sell hamburgers. That is true. I think true. it's probably because they don't grill things. If you either. go to McAllister's, you're not getting a hamburger. But that's because it's made different. There's a lot of different, if you just, like a lobster roll, I just got to go with a million things that are all sandwiches that every restaurant, every sandwich restaurant doesn't sell. It doesn't mean it's not a, a sandwich. Do you know what's fun, though, is what's hearing that? you get upset about that. Yes. I know, but you guys need to look yourselves in the mirror because... For once, I'm I in the majority. I with this. And I said people it's a sandwich. In, I said it's a sandwich. But you're still arguing with me. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying that that I don't like. I would never consider it. Like I would never say, "Can you give me a sandwich?" And you would think it's a hamburger. Because you could be more specific. Yeah, but there's and no. I would never say to you, Isaiah, make me a sandwich because I don't know what you would give me. You could give me <laughs> two sandwiches say, oh, yeah. I don't want. I brought sandwiches. And then I bring him out into cheeseburger. Actually, you know what? I probably, <laughs> it's I a pro- cheeseburger. I probably trust you. It'd probably be a peanut butter and jelly. See, yeah, we, yeah, I know. We need to talk about what our favorite sandwiches would be. There's you no would time. expect a PB and J more than you would expect a Whopper well, any hang, day. Of the why week. don't we just take a moment uh-huh. and then we'll come back? And if anybody has any favorite sandwiches, we can well, take that time to calmly tell each other with no arguing about <laughs> uh-huh. if it's a sandwich or not. I'm, see, that's what I'm just afraid that somebody's going to text in their favorite sandwich and you guys are going to go, no, that's not a sandwich. No, they no. don't sell we it at prom- Subway. Do we promise? Oh, we promise. We of promise course. not I to. agree. Okay. It's a sandwich. All right. I just never call it that. <laughs> the Riot. Radio U. Nikki, uh, you know what time of the year it is. It is. It is the holiday season. We're ready. hoop de doo <laughs> And uh, with the holiday season, I would like to let you know that Miller Lite has put out their annual holiday collection. For the holidays. Yeah, I'm looking at it. And they've got a brand new item that's uh, making waves. They've got a keg tree stand. It is it's something. Isn't it <laughs> is it beautiful? Um, I don't know if that's the word. Is it classy? I don't think that's the word I'd no. use either. What would you is it say? Is it full of something? Uh, Miller Lite. No, is it like, I, cause they show a picture of someone uh, like pouring from it. Yeah. So it's a full beer. keg. Uh-huh. All right. Well, it well, wouldn't be any fun if it was empty. Yeah, but why can't you do it practical? Why can't the keg be full this of is... water and you can put a real tree in it and then it waters the tree? <laughs> you know what keeps the tree even more hydrated? Not beer. And what makes it grow uh, even brighter and fuller? Do you know how Miller quickly Light. your tree will, will just will light on fire? DK. <laughs> <laughs> if it's drunk. But this is uh, killing two birds with one stone because it's, uh, it's providing your alcohol for the holidays. And it's the stand for your tree. I told you. It's efficient. This is Ikea style. You can't have Making that. Making the most use of your space. So Miller's actually, it doesn't actually include a keg, and it doesn't actually include a tree. It's just like the box that goes around it. Uh-huh. Um, so it's going to be. Oh, so you have to get the keg yourself? Tree keg oh, come stand. On. And uh, they're they're not saying how many supplies they have, but uh-huh. they don't expect it to last long. They go on sale a week from today if you really want to have your, uh, you know, your finger on the trigger there ready to ready to go one week from today 10 a.m eastern at treekegstand.com oh did you see the ornament you can get one for 50 dollars this screams that you're you're having an issue yeah <laughs> the ornament they have one is a it's a beer beer ornament yeah so it's a beer can ornament that you can actually pour drinks in yeah that one i don't i don't have as much of an issue with that 
Uh, but the keg, if you have, if you walk into somebody's house and for the holidays and their tree is on a keg, you assume, I mean, I guess some people might go walk in and be like, Hey, it's a party. <laughs> but a lot of people are going to just go, you've got a problem <laughs> Red flags. or not even that you have a problem. Just like, this is the most white trash thing I've ever seen. Or if you, you want to, you need a drink or something, even uh-huh. if it's just like a water or eggnog, sure. and they walk over to the tree and get you the cup off the, the tree. Yeah, that is uh, <laughs> that is that's questionable. I don't know. You know, the, the funny thing is, now that I'm thinking about this, there's totally people in like West Virginia that probably that actually have made this before and oh, super own. proud of it. Yeah. yeah, they're like, hey, Billy Bob, come check this out. I don't know how it's a tree keg stand. I've not seen that on Etsy before. It's a, so, <laughs> got the tree. <laughs> I put it on a keg. Kill two birds with one stone. That's something you should be. All the drinks I want. I don't know if you should be and proud of And all the of drinks it. for the tree. Yeah. <laughs> the poor tree. <laughs> one for me, one for the tree. You're not going to remember to water your tree with water. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.